Hi everyone. Today we'll talk about React, who was a king in past, who changed the whole history of web development in 2011. Now is under questioning. People are questioning about the React exists or not. So we need to learn React, or we should choose the newer technologies. We'll talk about every perspective, every possible thing in this particular video. And let's let's move ahead. I'm Gaurav Pandey, your mentor, your guide, and you Gaurav Bhaiya. We'll talk about that. Is it still worth to learn React? Let's let's move ahead in the video. Yeah, you know people are talking about that React is being obsolete. So we stop learning it because of newer frameworks. For example, we have the Solid JS, Quick, and Swell. So now, because of the Swell, Solid JS, and Quick, they are faster. They are faster than React. So now, if you will say, "Sir, now I got my answer," that we should not learn React. But hold on the point. But hold on the point. We'll talk about that even if <coughs> they are faster, so we consider them. So we consider them. Cool yet? So now, when we talk about 2005, and when we talk about that we should learn a newer technology or not, we should consider one important factor: that the market dominance globally. Globally, as of now, React has. More than 40% of market, which is dominated by the React. And if I talk about the others, like your uh, Solid JS, Quick, and uh, Swell, so they have less than 0.1%. Now you'll say that. So now I'll learn React because a lot of people are using enterprises are using. I'll go with the React. Hold on the point. There's again a twist. So again, you know that React is widely used by Meta, Netflix, Air, BNB, Instagram, and with other multiple tech giants as well. And anyhow, React is a popular choice for the startups as well because of rapid development. So, what is the most important strength of the React? React has a wider community. Like React is also supported in Next.js, Linux, and React Native. So, because of this wider Support in the market, wider support for the community. React is dominating in the tech industry, for particularly in web development. Let Let's understand the other facts as well. You know why React was came in dominance because of the virtual DOM. So virtual DOM was something like the part we see on the front end is the DOM, but virtual DOM was a concept that if we are changing something smaller on the real DOM, like it was a rendering the whole page. So that problem was solved by the React in 2011, and React gained popularity and became most popular, you know, web development language. But now, because of virtual DOM, we have a problem. We have a problem. The problem is that because of virtual DOM, it morphs into, you know, combinations, reconciliation, and diffing. Basically, reconciliation and diffing are the terminology which are used to update the real DOM from the virtual DOM. And because of this updation, it takes time to loading the page. That result in the slower loading of the web page. And again, the, another challenge is the complexity. In React, we have hooks. Hooks basically for state management for the, you know, <laughs> for multiple things. But these hooks are complex to understand. And other newer technology are solving this particular concept. Yeah, we have one other controversy in React as well. That is server component. Previously in React, what was happening? We were writing the code for the front end part, for the client side part. It was being rendered on the client side, and again because of this, it was taking more time. So React came up with the solution. The solution was server component controversy. So React came up with the solution with that we'll upload, we'll upload, we'll upload the smaller part on the like on the back end part as well. And whatever is required, whatever the necessary, we'll do on the fronting part. Right. So that's what React used. So because of this thing, previously React was based on the client side, but now it's combining the concept of server side rendering. And this mix concept creates a problem for the user. They had to migrate into a new concept, and that becomes a problem for them. Again, the another problem is bundling and hydration challenges. 
In React, we use a lot of bundles of the React JS in a heavy amount, which leads to the slower performance. Again, because of this, React's components load slower than the other newer technologies, and that is a problem. And now React is trying to overcome some of these challenges with the help of newer future innovations. These innovations are React Hub, a game changer concept which reacts our components, which I've already mentioned. That we will upload the maximum part on the server side and the fewer necessary part on the front end side. This concept is known as RSC, React Server Side Components. This is React Side co uh, Component, React Server Side Component. And because of this, people just had to change a little concept. They have to migrate into new concept, but it was faster. So making React faster. Again, we have a new compiler in React, which is, which is anyhow optimizing the performance of the React. How it's on optimizing the performance of the React? Because previously we had use memo and other like callback you, uh, hooks for optimizing the memoization technique. So because of that, because of that, we were using these complex hooks, which were reducing the performance of it. So in the newer compiler, the memoization becomes automatic and you don't have to use these hooks like use memo or use callback which is a really cool thing about React. Again, concurrent features and sustains improvements because of these new features, React became more faster than the previous versions. And now React have an AI powered React development, which means you have React AI assistant, which will help you to write code faster. And that is a really cool thing by development, which makes again, React is a popular choice. Yeah, again, if I talk about like in 2025, which is still birth, I will say that React is not dead yet. React is not dead yet, which means that a lot of enterprises, a lot of startups are using React as of now. If you want immediate job, you should go with React. Still widely, you know that, still widely used in the enterprises. So anyhow, you have large number of opportunities, right? Plenty of opportunities. So again, the question is that if I'm, I'm starting new, I don't know a lot of about like web development and learning new. So I learn React or the newer technologies. I will say that as of now, if you want a media job, you should learn React, but you should prepare that in future you may have to change the newer technologies. And you know, all the technologies are in JavaScript. So that will never be a challenge for you in migration. Yep. In this video, we'll wrap with the fewer point that React is not dead yet, so learning React is worthy to learn as of now. The thing is that you keep, you have to keep exploring the upcoming updates of the React. So in the next video, till then keep enjoying the video of the playback stuff and keep exploring the content. For this, subscribe the channel, like the video if you enjoyed the concept, and again keep updating, keep pressing the bell icon. We'll be coming with the new updates on the new hirings, on new content, and new information about the technology. So in the next video, till then, bye-bye, take care.